As pilots, we know we are responsible for the safety of our passengers. We are also responsible for the safety of those we encounter on runways and taxiways. Hi, I'm Mark Ward, pilot and certified flight instructor. Honolulu's Daniel K. Inouye International Airport has a diverse mix of traffic and pilot experience and is one of the nation's busiest airports. In this video, we focus on two runway safety issues at HNL. Relocated runway holding position markings between parallel runways four left and four right and runway safety best practices. Taking into account the large fleet mix from small Cessnas to 747s, military aircraft, land and hold short operations, converging runway operations, Honolulu is without a doubt one of the most complex airports you will ever fly at. Historically, approximately 30% of all runway incursions at HNL occur in the vicinity of runways four left and four right. Because we need to reduce these numbers, the positioning of the runway holding position and enhanced taxiway centerline markings between these two parallel runways has been changed. In the past, the hold short lines between runways four left and four right were reversed from what pilots would typically expect to see and were the cause of frequent confusion. As of January 2018, the runway four left holding position markings have been relocated to meet current standards. The resulting orientation will be more typical of what you would expect to see between parallel runways, allowing you to cross the dashed lines prior to reaching the solid double hold short markings for the parallel runway. It is vital to remember that there is minimal space between the two holding position markings. Your aircraft or vehicle may not fully clear the dash lines for the exited runway before encountering the hold short line for the parallel runway. The tower is aware that you are not clear of your landing runway and will protect the runway behind you until they grant your clearance. Never cross any double solid yellow lines preceding dashed lines until cleared by ATC to cross a runway. Be vigilant in actively scanning for signs and markings during runway exiting. In the future, runway guard lights will also be installed between runways four left and four right. Also, be sure to stay heads up and avoid distractions by deferring after landing checklists until cleared of all runways. Airfield familiarization is a key factor in the reduction of runway incursions. The HNL Airport Diagram identifies high-risk areas as published hotspots, which emphasizes the importance, even for locally-based pilots, of reviewing and actively using a current and approved airport diagram. Confusing hold lines, other large aircraft moving in the vicinity, several communications are going on to several aircraft, and only a small part of that may be generated towards you. So your awareness and your vigilance to radio discipline need to be at the top of its game. Remember that ATC is there for you. If you are ever uncertain, don't hesitate to stop and ask ATC to clarify any instruction or clearance. Use the keywords say again, verify, or confirm when clarifying ATC instructions, and do request progressive taxi instructions if you need them. HNL is also a busy training airport. Tower controllers know that inexperienced pilots can make mistakes. Although the student learns from correcting these mistakes, flight instructors should not wait too long before taking over the aircraft to ensure adherence to clearances. A CFI's primary responsibility is being the pilot in command. Instruction is secondary and can be debriefed later. On solo flights, per the Aeronautical Information Manual, students should identify themselves as student pilot in all transmissions to the controller. Students on solo flights should also not hesitate to use their PIC authority by asking controllers for help or clarification whenever needed and by advising unable. If at any time you are ever unfamiliar or just unsure of what you need to do, don't hesitate to ask and find out what it is that the controller is asking from you. 
If you don't understand, ask the question, and it's always better to be safe than to be sorry. Runway safety remains our priority, and we must employ these best practices at Honolulu's Daniel K. Inouye International Airport to reduce G-8 runway incursions. Working together, we can all contribute to the safest aviation system in the world. It's just critical to be aware of the fact that we're just a small part of what's going on. There's a lot going on at this airport. It can all work and it works fine day to day. The, the controllers are very good at what they do. We need to be very good at what we do. Look, listen, focus. Lives are at stake.